Hello everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing great this morning. On our prayer request today, pray for Jackie Howard. She has an unspoken request. Um, pray for Ethan. He's going through some tough times. Uh, pray for the families of those lost in a terrible earthquake. Pray for Michaelia. She had a terrible accident. Pray for Sharon's sister. She has a blood clot near or in her heart. Pray that she'll be okay. Uh, Caden needs prayer. He re-injured his shoulder and may require surgery again. Sidra Farid would like prayer for Palestine. Pray for Lori's parents. They are both in the hospital. Uh, her mother isn't doing good. Uh, she has COVID and her kidney, kidneys are failing. And her dad has COVID and a GI bleed. Uh, pray for Lisa for God's favor and blessings for several issues in her life. Pray for comfort, a happy life, and peace for PB. Her parents passed away. Jenny that had a lung can that had lung cancer passed away. Pray for comfort and peace for her family. Uh, Teresa has an unspoken request. Pray for Fauzia and her family. Destiny is doing better, but needs some more prayer. Uh, pray for travel mercies and protection for Kim's mom, Barbara, and her cousin, uh, Fran. Okay. All right, and our scripture of the day comes from Luke 6, 27 through 31. Okay. This is uh, Jesus speaking. Uh, but to you who are listening, I say, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. If someone slaps you on one cheek, turn the, to them the other also. If someone takes your coat, do not withhold your shirt from them. Give to everyone who asks you, and if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who are good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do that. And if you lend to those to wh from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners, expecting to be repaid in full. But love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, because he is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. Be merciful, and just as your Father is merciful. And that's through 31. Well, I read a whole bunch more than I was supposed to. <laughs> I thought it was 37. And I read it, it was 627 through 31, but hey, you can't get enough of the Bible. I mean, that's just a bonus today. <laughs> I read a little too far. Okay, I read through 36 when I realized it wasn't, I thought it was 37 that it was supposed to stop. It was 31. So, like I said, uh, bonus scripture today. Okay, uh, devotion today is entitled Love Through Prayer. For years, John had been somewhat of an irritant at church. He was bad-tempered, demanding, and often rude. He complained constantly about not being served well and about volunteers and staff not doing their job. He was, honestly, hard to love. So when I heard that he'd been diagnosed with cancer, I found it difficult to pray for him. Memories of his harsh words and unpleasant character filled my mind. But remembering Jesus' call to love, I was drawn to say a simple prayer for John each day. A few, few days later, I found myself beginning to think a bit less often about his unlikable qualities. He must be really hurting, I thought. Perhaps he's feeling really lost now. Prayer, I realize, opens ourselves, our feelings, and our relationships with others to God allowing him to enter and bring his perspective into it all. The act of submitting our will and feelings to him in prayer allows the Holy Spirit to change our hearts slowly but surely. No wonder Jesus' call to love our enemies is bound up tightly with a call to prayer. 
Pray for those who mistreat you. I have to admit, I still struggle to think well of John, but with the Spirit's help, I'm learning to see him through God's eyes and heart as a person to be forgiven and loved. Why is it important to pray for even the difficult people in your life? What can you do? What can you pray for them? Loving God, you know how I feel about those who've hurt or irritated me. Please give me your heart of grace and compassion to pray for them, for you love them. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I'm going to be going uh, today uh, at 11 in the morning for my infusion. I get it every two months. Uh, I don't expect anything to go wrong, but I, I just thought I'd let y'all know I'm going to be going for that. Usually I feel bad for about three days afterwards because it's such strong medicine. But anyway, I should everything, everything should go fine. But uh, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. And I'd love to see you on morning coffee break later. Bye, everyone, and God bless.